Hi, welcome back. Today's episode is about how to clean a file going from this to this. How can we use our code to clean an Excel file and removing columns names or renaming columns, renaming observations, eliminating null values? That's all we're going to discuss today. Let's, let's continue. Okay, in the previous video, we were talking about downloading an Excel file from a web page, and we had three different sheets in one single Excel file. We talk about how to use import Excels with RStudio options and importing all this information to a data frame. Today's episode is about to clean all my file, all my data frame, and removing names like this, for example, Germany, until 1980, and so on, or France, France Metropolitan, how can we change this? And also, we will see how, once we read our Excel file, these columns cannot have the same name, because, as you can see here, we, are, we have two different columns in one. Here we have two columns or two cells, and here we have only one, one single cell. So R at the begin at the beginning R doesn't read it as a single column, but two. So the name here will change as we will see. That's what we're gonna do. And how to eliminate one column? I want I want to to eliminate this one for for example over here. I don't want to use it. That's what we're gonna talk right now. Let's go to R to transform all this into a beautiful data frame. Okay, we were talking about where to download the Excel file, and you can find all this information in the previous video, or you can go to this web page, and you will find different Excel files or statistics about Europe. Let's continue. The first thing is to use COD to read my file. I already download the file with this name, and I have some simple cut here saying, okay, I want you to skip the first 13 lines. I don't need the first 13 lines and select my information from the sheet one. That's a, This is the name of the sheet, of course. And we run this and we're going to save it in employment library. Don't forget to use the library read Excel. Okay. We run this part. As you can see, we will go to see. We already skip the first 13 lines, we select only one sheet, but the problem here is the null values, this little b for me is, means nothing, or this one over here, for example, that, col that column over here. Ah, I have to remove this, all this name here until 19, if I don't want like that, for example. The column's name, we have to remove all this, and also, Ah, I forgot to select range. The range, it doesn't have to include this line, no, 31, 39 to the 44. I want to remove all this. How to remove columns and how to remove observations. That's what we're gonna talk now. Let's see. One, one important thing is about the which columns I want to select. Okay, as you can see here, I'm gonna create some sequence to select columns. Why? Because you can see, I don't need. I need the first one, the second one, the third one, no? Fourth, fifth. Ah, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, and so on. So it's the 29. As you can see, I don't need the odd numbers starting from three. Ah, so we can come and say, okay, I'm going to create a sequence of numbers from 3 to 29 and how can we do that? Okay, 1 to 14, it's all the numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 14. And I multiply it to by 2, why, why multiply it by 2? Because that way I have 2, 4, 6, 8 and so on. Those are even numbers from 2 to 28, but if I add 1 to all of those numbers, I'm going to create a sequence starting from 3. So you can see 3, 5, cent, and so on to 29. So it's a clever way to create odd numbers starting from 3. I'm going to save this in X. 
and this line of cut over here is going to remove all those columns or undesired columns as you want to call it like that and here okay x is a vector and i'm saying okay this vector is important this is c is important in inside our vector x and you can see the negative is because we don't want these columns we want to remove them the comma to the right or to the left in this case to the c is because we are saying there's columns if i type this same information to the left i'm trying to remove observation and we will we don't want that yet we want to remove columns the bracket of course because we are, are talking about the data frame i'm gonna i'm gonna store this one more time in employment error this is what we're gonna do here remember this i'm gonna erase these columns why i know i know i'm gonna remove them by the negative sign and this c is important okay let's see and we're gonna start it okay let's go to c okay it removed all those undesired columns but we have a problem here with the names of all these columns this should be let's go to see to the excel file ah as you can see here it must be 2005 2006 2007 starting from 2005 to 2018 that's what we're gonna do we're gonna create a sequence of numbers using years coming here okay i'm gonna create a sequence as you can see here 2005 to 2018 it's my vector ah 2005 to 2018 i'm gonna save it in one variable called year and then this piece of code here is gonna rename all the columns names of my data frame employment euro and okay the first one should be the country which is gonna call it country and year is gonna copy all these numbers over here that's how you rename columns okay the first one was to remove undesired columns and now is to rename columns using what names the data frame let's see let's go to see okay nice what it could be the next step remove this column we're gonna change that to null values okay okay also as you can see here i forgot to remove this the last observation 39 to 44 when i say observation is one single row so in this case is multiple rows 39 to 44 and as i mentioned before here when i have the vector to the left of the comma and using the negative sign is to eliminate rows we're going to remove rows starting from that row 39 to the 44. okay all this is what i'm going to do and one more time we're going to store it in employment euro data frame let's do okay and we can see ah turkey serbia albania perfect we got it now it's look cleaner let's continue what else okay i mentioned bef before about germany it's a long name but well, maybe the information here is important but in this case i want to show you how to rename an observation in this case a cell i'm here i'm asking employment euro country so that means that we will go to this column to the specific column okay if the value in this column it's equal the double equal remember because it's gonna comparison it's a comparison it's equal to all this you have here okay so uh, okay if all that's here so i'm going to i'm going to position it myself in this cell that is going to say yes or no remember and one more time we're going to store that in that cell employee member country all this is going to be a single position why a single position because there's only one cell with this info in this case so rename it with by germany only i i recall this is going to be a true or false for all of those observations true or false however we're going to take only the one who, but is, that is true and those that are true those that are true we're going to change the name by germany in our case there's only one single cell with that so we'll transform it rename it and here we, you can see germany has been changed okay okay so i i was talking about null values with the columns so it's the same we're gonna ask okay employment euro 
there is one cell with this value here like this if employment error has this value please change it to na remember that this is going to be true or false but all those cells in the data frame when i look for all of them in our case it was one single cell here i'm trying to look in all the data frame cells and here i'll show you if we wanted to do it with only one but in this case it's for all the cells in the data frame employment error and we're going to change that to nah okay let's go to compare oh yes and you can see there are no columns anymore okay terrific mm, but there's something missing here i see something strange what it could be oh could be this long number here could be these long numbers okay what function allowed me to cut this i'm going to approximate this to for example 10.19 or 10.20 let's see what we're gonna do okay this cut bar here we're gonna apply if we have why to using as apply well as apply is gonna change to those all those values to numeric mm, why to numeric as you can see here i previously discovered that all these values over here were cataloged as character how i discovered that well because i was trying to apply this as you can see when i do it round the function round allowed me to approximate to only one decimal all my numbers let's see for example here round round works with quantitative information or numerical information and i call it and what is this negative one okay that means that i'm not gonna apply this to the first column why to the first column no because it's the country's name i don't need so we're gonna talk about only the second to the end of my columns and only one single decimal okay i play around oh what it says here this is what i discovered as i mentioned before right so non-numerical variables so what you have to do when you discover this kind of thing is to understand using str for example employment error for example one single value okay what is this single column it's a constant ah, okay in this case because this is numeric we use it like this and as you can see here it's a character but okay but 15.7 is not character it's a number so how we can parse this how can we transform this character to numeric and that's what i did over here so if you can go and discovering how this this works or how you discovering your information you have to continue applying um certain functions in r in my case i discovered this and that's why i say okay this is this is strange because those are numbers not characters why i cannot use apply round okay as you can see str2 tell me that all my columns all my columns are characters that's not true for me for r it's like that but i have to transform it as you can see here that the quote marks are in all the numbers so how can do that as i mentioned before using s apply s apply means that it's going to apply it by column what it's going to apply this function as numeric so we're going to transform all those characters or whatever it was to numeric all 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 this is what we're going to transform by column okay why by column because we want back to store it in employment euro and round once we have transformed all my my cells to numeric we're going to apply the function round to approximate it to using one single one single decimal okay there we go okay this is what i wanted to show you how to read an excel file clean the data extract only information from one certain range eliminate columns eliminate observations eliminate um, strange uh, symbols okay and all this with this piece of code and as you can see i called glimpse and there we go now it has changed i have 15 columns 38 observa um, rows or observations and my 
numbers are numbers as I wanted to double it means double over here okay thank you for watching I hope you like it any comment idea or it's very welcome thank you very much